Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is digital marathon series of videos where we are going to give you 42 challenges and in this video we are going to discuss the solution of our 10th challenge. I really appreciate your enthusiasm and energy while participating in this competition and making it a grand success. Now without wasting much time, let us get started and see the solution of our 10th challenge. Friends, let us see what was the challenge first. Here the challenge was you had to design a frequency multiplier to multiply an input frequency by 3 and using digital components only, no PLL, no DLL. Here you have to design this unknown block where the input frequency should be F and the output frequency should be F by 3. Now let me reveal its answer. Its answer is we have to use, use an XOR gate where input to it will be f in that is this f frequency delayed by t by 6 delayed by t by 3 and these two outputs outputs of these delay units will also go to this XOR gate and finally you will get your desired output f out which will be f in by 3 here f in is this f frequency friend here this t is the time period of the input frequency f in now let me show you the waveforms this is a frequency multiplier. The waveforms are this is F input, this is output F into 3, this is T by 6, and this is T by 3 as I used in my logic diagram. Let us put XOR gate and see whether I am getting F into 3 or no. So at this point of time, my F is 1, T by 6 is 0, T by 3 is 0. If I XOR them together, I will get 1, and which is my expected output. F is 1 t by 6 is 1, t by 3 is 0, two ones here, so exhoring them will yield 0. Here on the third bit, f is 1, t by 6 is 1, t by 3 is also 1, so three ones input to XOR gate will yield 1 at its output, and which is my expected output also. Similarly, you can calculate for other bits also. Friends, just for your information, I have created a separate video on generic multiplier and revealed a secret technique which mentions that if I have a, any input frequency and I can multiply it by any integer number or any fractional number. It is very interesting technique. If you are interested in it, I will share its link in the description section as well as in the i bar section. You can go through it. Friends, with this, I am going to end this session and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.